It's a 32 foot uh, Monterey. We have this one sitting down on the lot, so if you want to come by and take a look, it's a rare opportunity to see about this size out of the water. Hole's in pretty nice shape here. Got uh, complete enclosure, or it can be set up for two biminis. It's got the fiberglass uh, radar arch, big heavy duty, all welded stainless steel bow rail. Transom area of the 32 Monterey. It's got a very large oversized swim step and a boarding ladder. Twin screws and extra heavy duty trim. Aft compartment on the swim step opens up for your shore power line and uh, phone connections if you're uh, in the slip. A nice fender holder out here as well. It's the cabin area of the uh, Monterey 32 foot. Looking down from the uh, entrance. Nice large forward berth. This also converts table drops down as filler cushions. That converts into a berth as well. And this also has an aft cabin. Take a look at that when we go down the stairs. If you go down the stairs into the cabin of the 32 Monterey, uh, you have an unusual feature. You have uh, actually twin beds in the aft cabin, very very large and you can probably get a filler cushion if you want that to be like a master. This is the galley area, got a lot of natural lighting you have three uh, deck portholes in this boat which is a nice feature. Got a nice headliner with lighting instead of the fuzzy stuff like you see on a lot of boats. Got a starboard window this is the uh, port window, and then the galley area. You've got a microwave. You've got this Corian top that fills in over the sink. So if you're doing some prep work, you can do that. A lot of storage area here. Got these locking uh, lifts here for uh, storage. It pops open. Nice feature, very nice hardware. Got, they lock by pressing in on them. Coffee maker. Additional storage cubby here. And again, nice uh, deep cabinet here in, for the galley. Plenty of room to put your uh, cooking uh, implements. You've got uh, some overhead lighting. Dual burner, alcohol, electric stove. AC DC nor cold refrigerator. Again, plenty of storage here. And we've got a uh, big storage area here below the sink as well. So, very large galley just to as you come in the entrance, you have your uh, fuse panel. And then a storage area just below the fuse panel on the entrance you have a hanging closet that's all lined with uh, cedar. Very nice feature, keeps your clothes fresh and dry. And again that's just as you come in the stairs right below the main breaker panel. table on the uh, port side right across from the galley. This will drop down and make into a berth and then underneath you also have uh, storage all the way around underneath the uh, seats. Got a vent here for air conditioning or heating system. I'm not sure how this boat is equipped. Please read the specifications. Got a little uh, old style CRT 
VHS combo. It's probably originally on the boat. You could pop a flat screen and a DVD player or stream to your iPad. This is the main berth. Everything looks in good shape. And that's your bow cushion and you also have a storage area underneath here as well. For additional items you do have a stereo system and whatnot. There's also a privacy screen that folds around this area if you want a little bit of privacy while somebody's cooking. It has a nice size uh, head area. It's got a full mirror, overhead lighting. This will also double as a shower area. Faucet pops up, goes on a hook, and this is all uh, enclosed with your shower drain there, as you see on the right side of the screen. It's a cockpit area. It's uh, a little dirty. I had some wind uh, yesterday and it kind of got a little dusty, but upholstery is actually in decent shape. Storage area, cup holders, it's a very, very large uh, cockpit area, including a wet bar. There is a little bit of sun damage on the tops of the two helm seats, so that can be easily repaired or you can use it as is. Here's the helm area, full gauge package. Which is it says breakers. Here's a uh, VHF radio down here. It controls for a spotlight, anchor, windlass, and the trim tabs. The Monterey has a center stepping area, so instead of having the type rope around the side of the boat, you can just step right up here. Built in steps. You can egress the front of the boat. This has all been reinforced. Here's a place for your bow cushion that we saw down below in the cabin. It's got a little cutout for that. Here's your three skylights. They're frosted. Gives you a lot of natural light inside the cabin. And this is the access to the deck area. This all has non-skid, which is nice. Really nice area up here on the bow to negotiate picking up a mooring or deploying the anchor or retrieving the anchor. Big uh, locker, and this is flat up here, so it makes it a lot easier to uh, again pick up a mooring if you're Catalina. Got a little deck light here, kind of hard to see. Oh, you can see it there, good. This all has a drain too, so if you get water up here, it'll all uh, drain, drain back. As I look back towards the uh, boat here, it's a canvas uh, bimini top. Uh, looks like it's in good shape. Some of the snaps may need some work, but looks like this may have been done or it was kept uh, nice originally. Here's the engine compartment. Here's your gen set. It's got dual battery setup, and this boat has twin 5.7 GSI, which is a General Motors 350. It's the block they use for this particular application. Twin engines, and you see the bilge pumps and so forth. There's the port side of the cockpit area. A storage area underneath here, a bunch of cup holders. Another storage area and storage area underneath the wet bar.